Good day and welcome to News Round and Celestial Owners TV. But today's edition is a special one as News Round reaches its 150th edition. And you know how we do here exclusive interviews, authentic news, unbiased reports, positivity, all about the Celestial Church of Christ. Welcome once again to News Round and Celestial Owners TV. I am Damilola Awushika. First, the headlines. Special reports on News Round 150th edition. Exclusive interview with the mother celestial, Celine Oshofa. USA National Dallas host, Choir Convention 2024. And CCC UK Dallas Media and Publicity Team holds London 2024. And now the news in full. We begin from our Lagos News Desk. It is the 150th edition of News Round and Celestial Owners TV. Three years down the line, we have remained a relevant Christian news outlet, one to be reckoned with, with lots of work going on behind the scene. A door getting hard working crew, both in Lagos and Abuja, we are ever expanding, spreading our tentacles to international bureaus. But to get our boss, Super Evangelist Ebenezer, the CEO of Celestial Owners TV, proved to be a feat that we couldn't accomplish due to his very, very busy schedules because he's a man who wears many caps. But we'll cut this interview that we had with him in our 140th edition. I am extremely delighted and emotional as well, seeing something that God used me to start to establish it's going very well, going leaps and bounds, and um, I give glory to God. I, it can only be God, but I know that definitely the best is yet to come. We still have a lot to do, but I'm very, very happy. Thank you very much, sir. News Round and Celestial Honors TV has become like a go-to to Celestians when they want news about the Celestial Church in general. How has it been for you? Because for such great feats, there will be challenges, there will be stumbling blocks. But we are recording a success today. How has it been getting to this point for you as the brain behind the concept? To God be all the glory, um, as you say that, news round. Today is a do in CCC. And um, getting to this point, however, it has not been easy. Um, life will always be its own challenges on a daily basis. Like they always say, when the next level is coming, the next devil is already waiting. I, with prayers, there's nothing God cannot do. I managed to overcome a lot of challenges running this organization and putting all my resources together to make it work. I, I love this church. I, I, this is where I find God in this church. I find happiness. I find peace. And, it, it will get better. The only thing I'm going to say right now is for us to keep doing what we're doing. And uh, I want, I'm just grateful to God that all Celestians have accepted it. We're not doing it for money. We're not doing it to make money. We're not doing it for, for ratings. We're just doing it to proclaim God's faithfulness in this church. Celestians of Christ is a very great church. Uh, if you ask people that have genuine testimony in this church, they will tell you. So I'm very grateful to God. And I know that all the challenges, all the tests that I've been through have become a testimony. The world can see it. That will become a test. That become a testimony. And Lord, may you continue in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you very much, sir, for that uh, response. Okay, now let's look at the fact that for every idea to be birthed, there is money involved. There is, you have to have the will. You have to have the zeal. You have to be determined. And for a man like you, sir, who has your hands in a lot of things, you're a shepherd, you're a consultant, you're a media guru. Have you been able to marry all things, all these things together? And they're all been successful. They are all seeing the light of day. You, 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 you're on a very beautiful pedestal where you are. So where do you derive your strength from, sir? Yes, I am a very busy person. I give glory to God. Uh, I derive my strength from God. Um, people ask me this question all the time. How do you do it? One of the things that I can tell people is the calling of God in my life 
it's not a joke. And um, to me, the calling of God in my life is a lifestyle. It's not a hobby. A lot of people take the work of God in their life and they're calling as a hobby. But I've taken it as a lifestyle. So which means this is what I'm going to do till I die. Yes, people keep forgetting I have a full-time job. Really, I finish this interview, I will be going straight to work. Because I'm in the church premise. I'm in my church in the office now. The call came in now and I have to answer you guys. And uh, I am, I am, uh, I am committed. The commitment has been there. I've expressed the lows, the highs, and the good, the bad of, of this journey. Trust me, I know what it's like to be a shepherd. Shepherdship is not something that is easy. You, to, it, can, it, can, it can cost you a lot of things, things that you don't even expect. To, but I look at the challenges and the things that have, that have managed, that have encouraged me to get to where I am now and to want to do more is because of the challenges of life. Things that has happened to me that I never believed in my life that will ever happen to me growing up. So that has encouraged me want to do more. And I want to look at, when I look at people around me and I see what they're going through and then, but I, I have a secret. The ability to pray to God. One. And secondly, to be patient with whatever you are doing. Psalm 27 says, please be on good, or be of good courage. And it's a strength in their heart. The things you want to do now, if you don't just wait patiently for it, you just be running after, you're running somebody else's course. But for me, I've managed to be patient with God. I've managed to endure the difficult things, the difficult path of this journey. I've stepped on, on, on broken bottles. You know, I don't, this is not a very full interview. I just want to try and let my viewers know that it has, the journey has not been very, very easy. But I've managed to focus on the most important things. I've managed to, ma I've, I've, what I did was to manage the crisis in my life. What I did was to manage it without not getting to my calling. It's not that easy. You know, some people, you look at them, what they're doing, people think they have failed. They have not failed. They just don't have the energy to continue. But in my own case, I work full time. I go to work, earn my living come back home, committed to Celestia Honors and Merit Award, to the HOD, to the to everything. I have all the committees that have been uh, the chairman of this, this and that. I will take everything and give 100%. Celestia Honors TV is one to be reckoned with in the celestial media space. Our news is well-rounded, projecting the Celestial Church of Christ in positive light. In celebrating this astuteness, listen to what this reputable Celestians have to say about Celestial Honor TV. Celestial Honor TV, hallelujah, God bless you. I salute you. I appreciate you. You are wonderful. You are doing marvelously well. And the Lord will continue to bless you and keep you and keep the team and make you more wonderful in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Free of charge. You can expect nothing less than one million. But he brought it free of charge. At this time, I'm trying to proclaim and to thank Celestial Honors TV for a wondrous job you've done since we started this. I mean, you have done a great job. Due to this recognition, the Celestial Owners TV crew had an exclusive interview with the beautiful and amiable First Lady of the Celestial Church of Christ Worldwide, Mother Celestial Celine Oshofa. The beautiful wife of our pastor, His Eminence, Reverend Emmanuel Mobino Friday Oshofa. Je le donne, c'est de regarder dans les Saintes Écritures, dans le livre de Luc 6. 30 à 36 ou bien Matthieu 25 31 à 46 que Dieu vous bénisse amen The launch of the CBLA worship for foundation for the needy a major feat in the celestial church by his eminence Reverend Emmanuel Friday Mobino for Shofa and his beautiful wife Mother Celestial Celine or Shofa was a convergence of the who is who in the Celestial Church of Christ. In celebration of the doggedness, spirituality, and astuteness in the vineyard of God, Celestial Honors and Merits Awards International bestowed upon Senior Evangelist Professor Samuel Odeemi the SBJ or Shofa Distinguished Lifetime Merit Award 
conferred by the President Super Evangelist Ebenezer during a cutsy visit by the Celestial Owners TV crew. Senior Evangelist Odeyemi spoke extensively on why he focused on grooming the youth in the Celestial Fold. Celestial Owners TV. And uh, we're here with our daddy, um, Professor Odeyemi. We are live here in the Otter Ogun State. A lot of people have said to me in the past that whenever you get to me, that you need to ask this question. Why the youth? So daddy will just would love to explain to us. He's done so much for them. They love him. All the shepherds respect him. We all look up to him. He's an inspiration. Daddy, God bless you. Why the youth? The first convocation in my car. After Papa moved down to Nigeria, was heard in my court, the first one, and there was um, a meeting of the elders who were not more than 20. Then we were deliberating on the future of Celestial Church of Christ. There was one professor Adekunde, Professor Adekunde, who gave a lecture on the future of Celestial Church of Christ and the youth. And he made a case, he said that in London, Celestial Church of Christ had bought several churches because their forefathers no longer believe in God anymore and they started to sell the churches out and so Celestial uh, as, as so Celestial Church of Christ bought at least one. <coughs> and that very particular term, that is uh, uh, the Christ casual. Yes. So he said, there was a time Christianity was very, very hot, very, very good and everybody believe in Jesus Christ in UK but now he's no more he said that we should learn from it the church were being bought all churches were being bought sold they were being sold to become um, another churches, to become warehouses for industries. He said it is possible for any church to come to this type of situation. He said he prayed that the lesser church of Christ we not come to that state of situation. He said, if Sele will not come to that state of life, he said we should, from now, from then, we should take care of our youth. We should begin to teach our youth facts about Celestial Church of Christ. He said, failure to do that, the same thing that happened to churches in Britain can also happen to Celestial Church of Christ. So we debated it from there. That is the thing, that is uh, the conference that I cherish so much. Excellence is a virtue that cannot be undermined. 
Such can be said about secret evangelist S.O. Shodunke. The Celestial Owners Media crew also visited in his home and were warmly welcomed, conferring on him also the SBG Show for Distinguished Lifetime Merit Award and also his wife for being a solid support to her husband, an example to women in the vineyard. Super Evangelist S.O. Shodunke shed light on the Christian journey and the conversion to the Celestial Church in 1970. Would you like to just tell us briefly what the journey has been like? Um, it's been a wonderful journey. Uh, like any life journey, it will have its ups and downs. But we thank God that ups, in my own case, and the case of the family here, have been more than downs. Um, I was born into an Anglican family, by Anglican family into Anglican church. And both my parents and my grandmother uh, held position of uh, responsibility in the Anglican diocese of uh, Ife. My father was the treasurer of the divisional diocese. Uh, but my grandmother was named the Iyaijo of the church. Unfortunately, he died before it could be, she could be inaugurated. So it's been uh, a family known to God, who cared about God, who, um, who wants to act in to the dictates and cause of God. So that was the case. And uh, um, both when I went to school and when I also started work, I was always anxious to try to be close to God, worship, so and so forth. But in 1970, I had a call that I have to move to Celestia Church uh, from uh, Anglican. My father did not disturb me, did not stop me, my mother did not stop me. And I went. Uh, of course, before then, I had already got married to my wife, uh, Lady. So it's uh, been a wonderful life. Uh, being a professional, I'm a chartered accountant, studied abroad, and I got employed by the Nigerian High Commission in London and posted to a Federal Minister of uh, Finance, very young. I, I think I got back to Nigeria by boat, got back to Nigeria on a Saturday, and by Monday I reported at the Federal Minister of uh, Finance. Uh, Mose building, Tino uh, to Mose building, the likes of um, Lusaya, Niji uh, Lawali, Tiamiu, something, just about six of us, because we were close. So we went on, and uh, life then was quite good. Uh, it was so nice. You really can take things for granted. Um, you want, once you have a good job, all the rest you, you will get. So life was good. Um, I uh, left my family in the UK initially, uh, my wife and the two children. I brought them back after changing jobs. It was easy to change a job, you get a job and things like that, uh, just for the ask. And so that has been, um, I, uh, then um, I said I joined Celestia Church in 1970, and of course I was um, there very active. But when I had when I was transferred to Ibadan by my employer, that's the Nigerian Bank for Commerce and Industry at that time, I met uh, three other people, uh, late Bola Jibika. Uh, as some venerable super evangelist, Dara Moles of Adira Molad is still alive. She was, uh, she's a retired general. Then, of course, Professor um, 
so, Professor Salimano, Lika Salimano, also uh, leads now. So four of us were always moving around, and we formed a group. Um, it's all about working for Celeste Church. And so we are very active at you know, your state. This is indeed a special edition of News Round 158th edition for a fuller and more comprehensive version of these interviews. Join us on One to Word and Celestial Honors TV on Monday, live on Facebook, Zoom, and YouTube by 12 noon Nigerian time. You do not want to miss it. On Sunday, the 12th of May, Celestians the world over, at where the brother and sister Satanas pray against calamity, sorrow, and sword and death, while also holding three candles and three palm fronds. The spiritual items are to be dropped at the St. Michael, and the hymn 377 sang as the parishioners go back into the church sanctuary. Army Barracks 1 Cathedral Agege Open Air Crusade 2024 themed Greater Exploits will hold on Friday the 17th of May from 9 a.m. prompt. Seasoned men of God will be on hand to connect with heavenly hosts as you join. Celestial Church of Christ Amen Parish E. Koto in the month of May will run three Super Sundays from the 5th to the 12th of May themed God's Mercy from 10 p.m. Please join them and be blessed. 12 Hours with God 2.0 Prayers, Praises and Prophecies Organized by the Celestial Students Parish, Abraham Adesanya Chapter Slated for Sunday, May 19th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. 70 hearty cheers to a man after God's own heart, a philanthropist and a father to many, to Preventalist L.E. Rashid, the patron of Olifi Cathedral in Ijai. On his birthday, from a celestial owner, CV crew will say, Happy birthday, sir, and may your days be long in the land of the living. And now to our new K News Bureau, the CCC UK Diocese Media and Publicity team has scheduled its International Shepherds Conference, London 2024, for May the 11th, with theme, Who is a True Shepherd? Time is 4 p.m. and it's run on Facebook. Instagram, Zoom, and YouTube. The European Chapter of the International Management Committee, IMC of the Celestial Church of Christ, has in its itinerary to hold an international conference slated for later in the year. The conference is scheduled to hold in Vienna, Austria. Its major focus will be to provide detailed workings and operations of the IMC. Further details of the conference will be available very soon. For the month of May 2024, Fountain of Life Parish London has scheduled a one hour with Christ for every Tuesday from 8 to 9 p.m. Every Wednesday, Come Alive the Runs Prayer from 8 to 9 p.m. also. And every Sunday, a devotional service from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. It will be live on Zoom, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. The City of Conventry will be agog as Voice of Jesus Christ Conventry Choir host Ignite 2024 on Saturday the 18th of May 2024. Signpost, O Come, Let Us Worship. Venue is the Canley Community Center, Proud Jim Walk, Conventry. And now to our USA News Bureau, the CCC USA National Diocese, come the 24th to the 26th of May will hold that 2024 Choir Convention theme, the Celestial Choir Mandate. It will feature lectures, symposium, games, and concert. The three-day event will hold at different venues. Day one is at CCC Agdalsis Head in Chicago. Day two will be CCC SBJ Oshoka Luli Parish, also in Chicago. And day three will be Great Oshoka Parish, also in Chicago. Do make it a date with them. The Oshofa Cathedral Parish, Maryland, is inviting all to a weekly Wednesday prayer, Night of Recovery. The online prayer, which will be on Zoom by 9 p.m., 
Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Central African Time, 2 a.m. Nigerian Time, and 9 p.m. European Time. Do join them online and be blessed. And now to your news round desk in Abuja and celebrating the unity of the Holy Spirit. Celebrates the Comforter Abuja 2024 at the National Stadium in Abuja come July the 20th by 7 p.m. The groundbreaking event is open access to all Christians and spearheaded by Reverend Mother Esther Ajayi. Please put this in your diaries. The cantata of Emmanuel Cathedral Abuja, which held a few days ago, was indeed the place to be for Celestians in that jurisdiction. Ebenezer is indeed the son of the joyful. So attendees had a few words for the celestial owner of TV crew, Abuja, who were on ground. Divine Glory 2024 of the Central Cathedral Abuja Glory of God Choir, scheduled for the 10th to the 12th of May, with theme, Come Ye the Thirst. From Friday to Sunday, the program will be filled with musical competition, games, treasure hunt, fundraising, and a thanksgiving to round off the event. The Kano State Jurisdiction Headquarters of the CCC is inviting all to acquire annual service of songs tagged. In his presence, from Friday the 10th to Sunday 12th, featuring a praise night and a cantata. We'll go on a quick break now. Up next is international news. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Now on the international scene, Nigerian female scholar Professor Rose Margaret Ekeng Itwa has become the first black woman to earn a doctorate degree PhD in cybernetics in the world. Cybernetics is a scientific study of how information is communicated in machines and pieces of electronics equipment in comparison with how information is communicated in the brain and the nervous system. She earned a degree from the University of Reading in the United Kingdom. Rose Margaret Erkeng Itwa is a multi-award winning professor of engineering with over 20 years of experience in engineering and STEM education, quoting across the USA, Europe and Africa. And now in the world of sports, Real Madrid defeats Bayern Munich 2-1 at the Bernabeu to reach the 2024 UEFA Champions League final. Jose Lu, who scored the winning goal, came off the bench to poach a brace of close-range goals. Real's hopes look over, but they found a way in this competition. A substitute, Jose Lu gobbled up an error from Noor to level up an 88 minutes before tapping out at the far post in stoppage time to break German hearts. Real Madrid will now meet Borussia Dortmund in the final at the Wembley on June the 1st. We're going to ignore the quick break now. Just stay tuned, don't go anywhere. 150 editions of News Round is no mean feat. In celebration of these, Celestial Owners TV is given back to our esteemed viewers 150,000 Naira worth of recharge cards for 150 viewers. All you have to do is like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube page. Share the 150th edition of News Round. Screenshot and send to our official WhatsApp line on 0906-600-0028 and 1,000 Naira recharge card will be sent to you. So hurry now. It's a first come, first serve basis. News Round and Celestial Owners TV. Reaching the media world for Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My name is Oluwa Busayomi, and I have great news for you today. 
guess what? Celestial Honors TV is now transmitting from Abuja. Isn't that great? Let me tell you a little about Celestial Honors TV. Celestial Honors TV is an international Christian online TV channel that is set to proclaim God's faithfulness and to promote the beauty of Celestial Church of Christ worldwide. And now, Celestial Honors TV will be broadcasting weekly from Abuja, covering the northern region areas. And the beauty part of it is you can advertise your parish programs and as a Celestian, your personal and corporate events can also be advertised on Celestial Honors TV. Then we have the good news for you. The good news is all our ads are free. Isn't that wonderful? What are you waiting for? Reach out to us on all our social media handles at Celestial Honors TV. And we will be right there at your event. See you soon and God bless you. It's here again. Celestial Honors and Merit Awards International presents the African Awards Lagos 2024. Honoring men and women of high integrity, honor and substance, those who have made enormous contributions in kingdom advancement endeavors, who have tremendously contributed to the growth and development of the society through humanitarian gestures, to mention a few. African Awards Lagos 2024, it's gonna be explosive, inspiring and entertaining. Anticipate! African Awards Lagos 2024, powered by Celestial Honors and Merit Awards International. And that's it on the main news, but before we go, a recap of the news headlines. Special report and news round 150th edition. Exclusive interview with Mother Celestial Celine Oshopa. USA National Diocese holds choir convention 2024. And the CCC UK Media and Publicity team holds London 2024. And that's it on the news and news rounds 100 and 50th edition. I hope it was what you looked forward to. Thanks for joining us. God bless you and enjoy the rest of your day.